What's up guys, my name is David and I'm Manny and today we're going to show you how to properly sex your crusted gecko. Alright guys, so crusted geckos are not sexually dimorphic meaning that you can't really just tell the difference from males and females visually they basically look identical and so one way you can sex adults the basically the only way to sex adults is you look for a hemipenal bulge so this bulge is created by the pair of hemipenes around the base of the tail example exhibit a bulge and females lacking these hemipenes won't have any bulge so it'll be more flat at the base of the tail yeah, and guys, it's very obvious. I mean, if you see a male, um, even from the backside here, you could you could see the bulge. Uh, if you have an adult gecko and you're not sure if it's a fat female or just a male, <laughs> then it's most likely a fat female. Crested geckos, the bulge is very, you know, it sticks out on the males, you know, quite a bit. So it's very obvious. You're not one. If your gecko is an adult, it's as simple as just looking to see if they have that bulge or not. If they have a bulge, they're males. If they don't, it's female, it's a girl. So these bulges start to develop around the 20 gram range for males. And if the females usually don't have it around 20, 25 grams, then you have a good chance that it is a female. Most gecko species, when these guys are born, right out of the egg, they're unsexable. You can't tell if it's a male or a female. Sometimes when they get start getting into you know the three to five to ten gram range it's possible to sex them with uh, you know like a jeweler's loop you could take a look right above the vent there's a group of scales on the males that will have a little pore which is just like a black dot in the center of the scales and that will indicate that it's a male now if you don't have a jeweler's loop you could use your iPhone or your or your smartphone. smartphone. <laughs> so you can take a picture. You know, you gotta. You probably want to use two people. You want to hold the gecko. Um, make sure that it's showing the underside. Take a good, clear picture, and then you could zoom in on the picture. Now, sometimes it could take babies up to five grams to start developing pores. And a question for you, David. Um, can do females have pores sometimes? Okay, so they, they're not actual pores, but females can have dimples on those scales on the bottom. Um, so it could be a little confusing if you don't have any experience with them. So that's why I always recommend if you're getting them from a breeder, ask the breeder what does he think, what is his you know opinion on it. Because um, especially on some heavy patterned animals, it's going to be a little bit harder to find pores as babies. You know, you got to keep in mind these scales are very, very tiny. So what I usually like to do is I, I will start to guarantee sex around the, like the 10 to 15 gram range because that's when the animal's a little bit bigger and I feel confident when I say if it's a male or a female by looking at the pores. Yeah, anything under that, we really would say it's a probable male because we're, we're thinking it's most likely a male or a probable female. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. Quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Facebook, our Snapchat, our Instagram. You know, if you want to keep up with us, our projects. You know, I know you're here for mostly us. I understand. I would be too. And, you know, just make sure you, uh, you subscribe, man. We really appreciate all the support, all the love you guys give us. See you guys next time. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. She will. Pixie will. If she can subscribe, she doesn't even have a smartphone. You guys can subscribe. Or if you have any questions or any comments or, hey, I want to see this for the next video, make sure you comment down below. This is Twixie the <laughs> Pixie. <laughs> it's Twixie the Twisted Pixie. <laughs> it's Dixie. The Twisted Pixie. Whoa, man, make up your mind. I don't know, somebody on Instagram named her. Oh. Twist, Pixie, the Twisted Pixie. I think it's Pixie. Dixie. Dixie. Pixie. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> what is the name? Twi it's Dixie, the oh. Twisted Pixie. It's Dixie, the...
pig ass. Is that what you said? <laughs> pig <laughs> I can't believe somebody named her that. All right. Is that Mocha? Yeah. I didn't even recognize him, he's so old. I know, right? His hemi beans don't even work anymore. They work perfectly fine. Boy, right? give, us, give that boy some Viagra. She's like, yo, let me get some of that. Nope, sorry. I don't know, drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Females will obviously just be a flat vent right there. Okay? Flat, like Manny. Anyways, that's <laughs> right. Just kidding, man. Yeah. Let it know. Might be my tears with the gecko. <laughs> <laughs>